How's it going, everybody? It is Tuesday, December 21st, and what a Christmas treat we get, an early Christmas treat. It is an NFL Tuesday. Yes, we get a couple of games tonight that obviously have been pushed back due to COVID issues. Um, first game, the, uh, the one that I'm going to go through, I've got three bets for. It's Eagles and the Washington football team. Now, I'm recording this pre-tests coming out. So there are, I think, 16 or 17 guys that are currently in Washington, well, the team is in Philly, awaiting COVID tests. Two of them, obviously, are quarterbacks Taylor Heineke and Kyle Allen. I do not see them coming and making that game. It just really doesn't make any sense. You know, the Browns, we thought there was a chance that Baker or Keenum could get cleared. The NFL has obviously made it clear that it's going to be very, very difficult to clear these guys on short notice. So I've got three bets for this one. Bet number one, and I place this bet on Bet Openly. If you don't know what Bet Openly is, it's a peer to peer betting service where there is 1% juice. If you know me, I hate paying extra juice for my bookie. And I got an awesome line. I got this line actually this morning Eagles minus six and a half for minus 104. I'm going to go a unit and a half on this game. Like I said, it's a peer-to-peer -peer line. Somebody posted that line. They wanted action on the Washington football team and were willing to take my bet, so I did it. Uh, so even if a handful of these guys pass, it sounds like they won't. Phillies had no struggles. They're 4-1 and one as favorites on the season. They won't get the main screen tonight, obviously. The other game has much more playoff value. However, if you got this line early, you got crazy value because I think it, as more guys, I think all pro right guard out of the game, the multiple players on defense it's just a bad situation right now for Washington so I do like Philly minus six and a half actually don't hate them minus eight and a half which is where the line sits right now some of them have it at eight but I do think Philly is going to run away with this one my second bet in this game is going to be Jalen Hurts under 189 and a half passing yards Hurts, he's gone under 200 yards in his last five starts he actually cleared this total in each of their first five games and he's only cleared it once since. Washington, they do have a great pass defense, although, like I said, they're going to be a little short-handed. However, they've allowed just 186.8 yards in their last five, including 124 yards against Dak Prescott last week with a very, very good Cowboys passing attack. So I expect Philly in this game, I think they're going to get in the lead, and I think they're going to sit on their hands. In the last three wins that they've had, his average yards drops to 142.6. So when they go up, they sit, and that'll lead me to my third pick and my second prop on this one, Miles Sanders over 54 and a half rushing yards. After averaging just five yet or five carries per game during weeks three through seven, Sanders has looked great. He's returned from injury uh, in week 11. He had 49 carries for 278 yards in his next three starts heading into their bye. In week 13 over New York, he had 24 carries for 120 yards. He's going to have fresh legs. He's coming off the bye. Like I said before, Philly, I think, is going to take the lead in this one. They're going to sit on their hands and move along and get the win. I think Sanders is a good prop here. Two units on that one, single unit on Hurts. The second game of the night, as I mentioned, is going to have a little bit more playoff implication. The other one will have playoff implication. This one, it's just going to be more entertaining, pretty straight up speaking. The Rams, they're seven-point favorites against the Seahawks. Total in this game is 47. I've got two plays, a total and a prop. Each are going to go for one unit. The total in this one that I like is Seattle over 20 and a half points for the game. The Seahawks are the win tonight. They jump from the 12th seed to being a game back from the wild card with games coming up against Chicago, Detroit, and Arizona. They could run the table and make it into the playoffs. Now you're pretty much looking at the same thing on the other side, though, because you could say the same for L.A. With a win, they move to a tie in the west with Arizona. I don't think they have the tiebreaker in that one. In Arizona, they've got it rough down the stretch. So I do like this being incredibly competitive, and it could lead to a shootout. Over 20.5 is pretty good. Seattle, they've gone over this total in their last two weeks. They've had 30 points in each of their last two weeks. We talked about Russ and his, and his whole injury and everything like that. It seems like after having the bad game against Arizona and Green Bay, he's back to his normal self. 
I do like them to go over 20 and a half. LA's defense, they've been okay. They've definitely played below their potential. They've allowed 20 points in four of their last five, with the one being against the Jaguars. And actually last game, they even allowed two scoring drives to Geno Smith in the fourth quarter when Russ went down with injuries. So I do like um, Seattle, maybe not to cover, maybe not to win, but I do like them to score over 20 and a half points. Now the second one I have is a prop. This is going to be a single unit prop. And we already talked about this man. Russell Wilson is healthy again. I've got him over 240 and a half passing yards tonight. After his, uh, I would say, like I said, lackluster games back, he's then thrown for 247, 231, and 260. In his first game against LA, he completed 11 passes for 152 yards. They were finding success throwing it down the field. DK had a big game that game. I could see DK having a big game again, although he's been a little pedestrian of late. The Rams, they've allowed 240 passing yards in 11 of their 13 games this season. Recently, we've seen Kyler go for almost 400. Rodgers put up over 300 yards. This is what they do. So I do like, like I said, Russ over 240 and a half. That's a single unit. And then Seattle over 20 and a half for a single unit. So five picks for tonight should be a very, very entertaining night of football. And it's a Tuesday. You got to take what you can get at this point of the season. There's not a lot of football left. So we'll take that, all five bets. Toss them in. Let's have a nice winning night.